Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's GTA 5 video, I'm going to be showing you how you can get unlimited spins at the Lucky Wheel in Grand Theft Auto Online, an updated 2020 version. And I'll be showing you guys how to do this on all consoles, PlayStation, Xbox, and even PC. And the reason I'm doing that is it's a little bit different for each one. And the hardest one for me was PC. But trust me, if I can do it, you guys can definitely do it. No problem. And it's a lot easier than it sounds. Now, before we can get started, I want to show you guys this bonus clip that Jaden sent me on my Facebook page. And it's pretty heartbreaking and it involves the lucky wheel. Let's take a look at this video right here. So poor Jaden just got robbed of the Progen Emrys. He sent that to me last Saturday, and he didn't end up getting the car. It gave him the mystery item for whatever reason, which was 10,000 RP, even though he clearly landed on the vehicle. So that's one of the strangest glitches I've ever seen. I, in fact, I don't even think I've ever seen that happen before. So everyone throw some Fs in the chat for Jaden because he just got screwed out of a Progen Emrys big time, and he definitely deserved it. But anyways, let's get on to how you can get unlimited spins at the Lucky Wheel. And I've seen a lot of people throwing around these weird methods, like that if you go up to the Lucky Wheel while accepting a job, and if you join a job in the middle of the wheel spinning, and you back out, you'll get another spin. I tried that just because I was curious. You can't pull out your phone when you're locked into the lucky wheel. You also can't pull up the start menu. I even tried pushing both buttons at the same time. It doesn't work that way. So I'm not too sure how those rumors started getting floated around, but they don't really necessarily work. So really, we just have to go back to the tried and true method that's been working from day one. And the only downside is it takes a little bit of time to log back in, but it's 100% foolproof based off of the way Rockstar works. And essentially how we're going to be doing this is closing down our application. Now on PC, it's probably going to be the hardest. What you need to do is actually set your display to borderless window mode. In fact, you might even play in this mode already and doing so will allow you to easily tab out of the game. Now you need to hit control alt delete, pull up your task manager, and then click on Grand Theft Auto 5. Once you've clicked on Grand Theft Auto 5, end task should be highlighted. You wanna keep that up. Now from there, you're pretty much good to go over to the lucky wheel and give it a spin. And so once you give the lucky wheel a spin, obviously you guys see your odds there on the left-hand side. It doesn't matter what you're going for here. You might be going for cash, you might be going for RP or specific clothing or discount. Most people are probably gonna go for the mystery or the vehicle and that's what they want it to land on. And if it doesn't land on the vehicle, what you want to do is quickly hit Alt-Tab, and then you should have the task manager already pulled up, and then you just hit End Task, and GTA 5 should automatically shut down. And then from there, basically what you have to do is just load back in. Now, in order to speed up this process, I would recommend that you set your last spawn location to the casino penthouse. This is going to give you the quickest access to the casino. If you don't have a casino penthouse, make sure that your last spawn location is right out in front of the Diamond Casino and Resort. But the best way to guarantee that you can get in as quickly as possible is to have yourself spawn in your casino penthouse. And then all you really have to do from there is go down the elevator and then voila, you'll be able to spin the lucky wheel again. And it is that simple. So that's why I said doing it on PC is by far the hardest. But again, if a noob like myself can end up doing it, then you guys should have absolutely no problem doing this as well. So that's, again, how you can get it to work on the PC. And I recorded this uh, last night. And so it's working even after all the updates Rockstar have done. And the reason this works still in GTA Online is the way the game actually saves your progress. There's like a 30 second delay between what you do in game and what the servers actually see. And so when you close the game, right as the wheel stops spinning or right after, 
you can see what you've won, but the servers don't technically save it. So by closing it down, the game thinks you didn't spin the lucky wheel. Now be careful waiting too long because if you wait too long to shut down your application, it might actually save and then you've kind of blown through your chance in order to spin the lucky wheel. You'll have to wait another 24 hours. And due to one of the recent updates that Rockstar have made, you only get one spin per account. So even if you have a second character, it still will count as spinning for that character. So you won't actually be able to spin even if you have like a female or a backup account. So just keep that in mind right there. So now let's move over to the PlayStation 4. The PlayStation 4 is incredibly simple. In fact, it's even easier than the PC. So same thing here, you basically just want to go to the casino and you can spin the lucky wheel. And also, this works in an invite only session, a session with friends, private, public, doesn't matter where you're doing it or who's been spinning the lucky wheel, it will 100% work. So same thing here, you spin the lucky wheel. If you don't like what you've got this time, instead of tabbing out or anything like that because we're on console, you just wanna hit the PlayStation button, which will pull up your main menu, hit start on GTA 5 and close application. Now you don't necessarily have to do it as quickly as I did. I've just been playing Grand Theft Auto 5 for a long time now on PlayStation, so I kind of memorized the button patterns. As long as you do it within like five or 10 seconds, you should be good to go and then you just basically load back into GTA 5, and again, you can spin the lucky wheel. And it's virtually the same on Xbox One, but I figured because there's a little difference in the way the menus look, I would show you guys as well. So same thing, you're gonna go up to the lucky wheel, give it a spin, depending on what you've gotten, if you want to re-roll it or get yourself another spin, this time you will hit the Xbox button, you will find your way over to GTA 5, and then you will simply close down the application or exit altogether to get yourself back to the Xbox dashboard. And then boom, just like that, you'll be able to go back into Grand Theft Auto 5 and spin the lucky wheel again. The only thing you're gonna have to do here is get past the loading times in order to get back into the game, which GTA 5 does have some long loading times. I'm not sure if it depends on your console or your internet speed, I both have wired internet connections and I have a PlayStation 4 Pro and Xbox One X. So I have the most powerful consoles and I'm using hardwired internet and it still takes me about a minute or two to log back in. But if you really, and I mean really, want to get one of these new vehicles or really any prize from the lucky wheel, it might be worth it. Now I would imagine most of you guys are going to be using this because you would like to win the podium vehicle and I can totally understand that. Winning that car could easily save you millions of millions of dollars. And so because of that, you might consider it worth it in order to do this a couple of times. Why spend $2 million when you can win a vehicle for free? And you guys might also be wondering, what are the upcoming podium vehicles? Well, right now we actually have the Grotti Furia, which is one of the brand new supercars that Rockstar introduced in this update, which is a couple of million dollars right then and there. And then according to Insider Tez Funds 2, Next week is going to be the Roosevelt Valor, I would assume for the Valentine's Day event. And then these are in no specific order. The Albany VSTR sports car, which just ended up releasing and is one of the best in the game. The two Formula One vehicles, the Progen PR4 and the Ocelot R88. The S80RR from the previous update and the Vagrant from this DLC. So it's brand new DLC cars, Valentine's Day themed cars, uh, brand new open wheel style vehicles. So it's going to be worth your while in order to try this, especially if you want to win those Formula One cars, which are multiple millions of dollars that you can get for free if you're able to win it. And this is just how you can get unlimited spins at the Lucky Wheel. I posted a video about a week or two ago. And by the way, thank you so much for the incredible support on that video. It basically shows you how you can win the car every single time if you do a very specific method. It's not 100% as easy as what we focused on in this video, but it's definitely doable considering that I've done it in the past. So I'll leave a link to that in the description if you guys are interested. But that is pretty much the updated 2020 version on how you can get unlimited spins at the Lucky Wheel in the casino in Grand Theft Auto Online. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below the question of the day. How many cars have you won 
from the lucky wheel and which vehicles have you won? Uh, let us know your take in the comments down below. We'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did gone to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and Red Dead Redemption videos that I'm doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.